All right, it's uh, Monday, and NFA National start this coming weekend. As fate would have it, I'm on the road, <laughs> so I got a big couple of weeks coming up. So um, I'm off to Tampa later today, and I'll be down in Tampa through Thursday. Dry, uh, fly back Thursday, repack, head to Louisville Friday morning. So uh, this is the last chance I get to shoot until actually I get to Nationals. So um, have a little rest here, a little bit of break. So I thought, hey, let's get around in. I got enough time before I have to head to the airport. So let's go shoot. I've been asked um, by a few folks, mostly newer guys because they don't know what they are, but about the arrows I'm shooting. And um, they probably don't recognize them because they don't make them anymore. But uh, my indoor arrows are Carbon uh, Express CXL 150s. I probably had about three dozen of these at one point. Uh, I, I really like, years ago, they made this solid with a cross hatch, almost like a spider web all the way down them. I love those, almost like a sleeve. But anyway, um, Carbon Express CXL 150 Pros, uh, they are um, great little arrows. They don't make them anymore. I love them. If you got a dozen you want to sell, shoot me a note. Be happy to buy them. Not a bad start. Um, that four was the last arrow I shot. So three X's, a five, and a four. Um, I just didn't get it there. And it, it went off before. So, hey, it's a good start still. Uh, second end. Wow. 23, I dropped two there. A couple of X's, a five. That high one was the second arrow and I was floating and I felt it going high and kind of released trying to make an adjustment and just, it just uh, was a bad shot. Should have been a letdown actually. That low one that's a four, uh, not, not too bad a shot actually. Well, another 23 and that is, I've added weight and I noticed keeping my bow arm up through the whole shot and i get a little lazy with that extra weight i'm dropping my bow arm a little bit i think because i've seen consistent low hits here and there so another 23 with a couple x's in number four had one it's just a bad shot that down and right's a bad shot a uh, couple x's couple of fives one by the just a hair but it's in another 23 or 24 all right another 24 uh one dead center x three fives and a four a little bit looser got to tighten that up well i thought i closed out the first half with a 25 but i didn't uh, that one's out so uh not bad though uh three x's uh five and just a barely out four but i'll take it so there's the target at halfway. Uh, not bad. I've held the bow arm up pretty good. I got those low ones early on. A little bit of lefties there. I think that's a t just a slight pluck in my release hand. Uh, the bow's tuned really well, so it, it does what it needs to do when I do what I'm supposed to do. But uh, 142 at the half. So on pace for an 84. Let's see if we can't pick it up a little bit here. Not the way I wanted to start the second half. Now, I will say one of those was a kick out. That lowest arrow that's on the line, um, that kicked out. So that is what it is. But the high one and the other four, just terrible, terrible releases. So, uh, you know, start with a 22, the worst end yet in the second half here as we start. So I uh, really got to focus here. I put pressure on by saying, now let's pick it up. And then I... I get to, you know, try too hard. It's just, just shoot the bow. Yeah, getting tired or lazy a little bit again. Getting low, getting low. Got two fours there, so another 23. Not a bad end. Uh, one bad arrow. The other four really, really good arrows. That one, you see the bad one over there. It's a pluck. I've got to focus on that. But these others were really, really solid shots. Another 24. Uh, well, the other two more outs, so another 23. All right, that was a rough round. Probably the worst shooting yet. Luckily, didn't shoot a three. I got the line down there with just a total collapse. I mean, I just collapsed on that bottom arrow. But, uh, so I'm getting a little tired. I can feel it. 
um, you know, I'm shooting fairly fast. So I got one more in left, five arrows left. I need to focus, slow down, and get five good arrows to end this practice session on. So another, uh, another 23 there. Well, a couple of collapses. Not exactly the way I wanted to end, another 23. But uh, a good practice session all in all. So um, all in all, not too bad. A 280 and 21 X's. It's not a bad round at all. Uh, man, a few months ago, I'd have been begging for that kind of shooting. So um, 280s, you cannot complain. There are some shots there. I realize I'm dropping my bow arm some here and there. Had some plucks that ended in some left arrows. But more than anything, and I, you can take a look at this target. More than anything, it was those low ones. And those low ones are, and I realize I said earlier, uh, added weight. And I don't mean added like bow weight, string weight. Uh, I added mass weight to the riser. And so as I get tired, I'm collapsing a little bit down. Not collapsing, but my bow arm is going down, dropping it a little bit. And that's what I'm, I'm noticing it when I get a low arrow impact. So I've got to focus on that. One thing I know will help that is I'll be slowed down with time between rounds and in the tournament and everything. So um, not, as, not as concerned. I'm shooting a lot more rapid here. Uh, I'll tell you something else that's really helped me. A lot of you have followed this journey that I've been open about with target panic and everything else. Something that's really helped me that I noticed, it really gave me a problem. The first tournament uh, of the year, the state tournament here in Tennessee, I went down to the tournament and when I drew to anchor, the tip of my arrow was covering up the bullseye. I always come in from the bottom. I'm always four or five inches below and I ease it up immediately, get on target. Uh, I shoot the, the lollipop deal, um, but uh, it was covering it up and I would shoot high and I was struggling to get it down. Um, I have learned to draw the bow and if the tip of the arrow doesn't go to the sight picture I start with, just immediately let down. Don't try to fix it, just let down and start over. That has really made a huge difference for me. So something for you to consider, know what your sight picture is, where when you draw your bow, where do you expect the tip of that arrow to be in relation to the bullseye? And if it's not there, just reset, start over. Um, because when I fight it, I generally will shoot a four. I won't, be, I won't be able to get it just right and then continue with shot execution. Just reset, reset the whole thing and start over. Okay, so last practice session before Nashville. Uh, I'll, I'll see you up there. Uh, um, I'll see you on social media this week. I'm going to be in Tampa all week and then uh, up to Louisville. Uh, be checking in up there, get some practice in. Hopefully Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. I shoot Saturday. And um, see you on the road. Thanks for following along. Shoot them straight.